Recently, we had a snow day, which is really unusual for the end of February on the floor of the Willamette Valley in Oregon. So this is part one of my snow day sketch memory. So on this particular snow day, my daughter played in the snow and made a snowman. I wanted to record that memory in my sketchbook. So I am starting out my sketchbook with a pencil. So this is a pretty soft pencil, just sketching out the outlines of a little portrait of our daughter. She is three and a half and I haven't done figure drawing since school. So that was a good 11 years ago. So trying to remember the basics of figure drawing, especially a child, it's a little bit different. Um, the halfway point in the face is actually their eyebrows, as I recall. And for adults, it's their eyes. So I'm trying to work out some more of the details, refining the shape of her face. The first thing I like to do is get the eyes in there because a lot of the proportions are based off of the size of the eyes, so like the width. And as I'm drawing here, I remembered that in school, I always made my noses too long. And so as I drew this, I was like, wait a minute, her nose is too long. She looks like an adult, not a little child. So it's never too late in the drawing stage to reconfigure the proportions. And in the end, I'm really glad I took a second, stepped back, stopped myself and grabbed my kneaded eraser and went through and fixed a couple things. I hear all these people always say, oh my gosh, you're so talented. You have so much talent. But honestly, I truly believe that drawing and painting is a skill that you can learn. And if you don't keep practicing it, you can get rusty and your skill of drawing can decline. This is where I grab my Micron 03. It has archival ink and it's waterproof. And sometimes choosing what details that you ink can really make or break a drawing. You want to do enough of the facial features that you can tell what it is, but not so much that it just overcomes the sketch. Honestly, the math is so hard, I was really relying on my years of practice of figure drawing to get it right. And I feel like I got it pretty good, even with adding some of her teeth along her lower teeth. I added those. So I'm just trying to figure out right now like where my shadows are. I didn't want to overdo it with cross hatching though. I just wanted to give some hints. And then I'm just using my kneaded eraser to erase the pencil lines. I really enjoy kneaded eraser because it doesn't disturb the fibers of the paper as much as like a rubber eraser would. And it's kind of fun to just like roll around in your hand. So here I am thinking I want to draw more of her 
but where do I want to draw it? I'm not sure. And then I'm like, oh wait, there's the other side of the spread. So I'm just kind of miming out where I'm going to draw her so I can get the proportions. So I like to draw a whole bunch of squiggly lines and shapes when I'm starting out to really help define where things will be. Just breaking down the shapes into like long circles or squares or rectangles um, really helps me build up my form when I draw. So you'll see that I'm drawing with a little bit more pressure with this pencil um, after I drew very lightly to get the, the basic shapes down. And I decided to do a little less detailed on this sketch because um, I'm doing like a full body. So her face is a lot smaller in comparison to the first little portrait I did of her. It was so cute when she made this snowman when she was all done. She just posed by him. It was like a prom picture. She put her little hand on him. It was so proud of her snowman. He had a carrot nose and he had a nice hat on and then we use real charcoal briquettes for his eyes and buttons and then the arms are from our dogwood tree so now i'm grabbing my micron pen again and i'm just going to ink this one in a similar fashion to how i did the first portrait of her if you want to see another painting that I've done on my daughter, um, check out the video in the upper corner right now. This is a video I did of her. It was from Easter last year, so she was two years old. And it's a painting of her with her rabbit. And her rabbit's name is Velvet. try and get all those little tiny details in without overdoing it I mean it's it's an ink pen so can't exactly erase those so I'm just kind of refining the line work if I see something that I want to draw slightly differently this is this is where I do that I want you to take a moment to leave a comment about what do you think I'll do to these sketches next and you're not going to find out what I'm going to do to be sketches next until the next video. I just really love recording memories in my sketchbook because you know I can remember things really well if I write things down because I have this memory of writing down something and then seeing it written down so when things happen I like to record those memories in my sketchbook because further on down the road as I'm going through my sketchbook I'll be like oh yeah I remember that day I remember making that snowman and how she went through and grabbed the branches from the dogwood that her daddy pulled off for her and then stuck those arms right into the snowman all by herself so once again, taking the needed eraser and erasing all of my pencil lines. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe to my channel. Because, you know, I'd love to share more about art and watercolors with you. So here's the little sketches that I did 
in my sketchbook on our snow day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of me sketching out my little girl with her snowman and then adding some ink to the drawings. And don't forget to check out the next video to see if your guess is right or not about what I'm going to do next with the sketches in my sketchbook. Here's a last little look of our snow day from my studio.